is no one's job to make you happy. Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Tamara, T to the Y to the M to the A or A. And if you are here for the first time, hello, nice to meet you. And if you are back, thanks for being a road dog and coming back. Today's topic of discussion, we are gonna be talking about five hard pills to swallow. Tell me, am I dreaming? How the hell you looking so flat? I just got a minute when I looked at you today. I got problems, baby, and I need you to save me. Yep. Hello, welcome back to my channel, T to the Y to the M to the A R A. And if you are here for the first time, nice to meet you. Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe for more videos. So, today's topic of discussion if you read the title, you have read correctly. We are going to be talking about five hard pills to swallow in reference to life and i know the truth hurts it really does and we all have dealt with these pills nobody's immune when it comes down to life we're not going to just deal with the everything is all roses and sweet everybody goes through bad times just like everybody has good times everything is not always bad and everything is not always good Sometimes we have those people in our lives, even ourselves, where you just need to hear the truth of what's really going on and be able to check ourselves so we can correct ourselves. Because every day we're learning something new. Learning, learning, learning. So the first pill that's hard to swallow is no one owes you anything. No one owes you anything. Nothing. Not your parents, not your kid, no one. You, if you want something out of your life, you have to take your own power back in order to change your life. You, it comes a point in time where you become older and you can't keep saying, my childhood, my childhood, my childhood. Your childhood happened in the past and please, nobody's dismissing what happened. And we get it. Everyone has a story to tell. But even when you're going to get older and that ch your childhood is going to hinder your life and stop you from achieving more and controlling your own future or two you're going to learn from your childhood and learn what not to do when you become a parent or what not to do just being a good nice person but no one owes you anything so not your parent because they ruined your childhood and your kids don't owe you anything once you become older and elderly your kids don't owe their whole life to take care of you that's up to you to set your own retirement and whatever else to make sure that your life is good nobody Nobody has to do anything for you. If something you do not like in life, you change it. You dictate your story. No one owes you nothing. They don't. They're not obligated to you. Everybody has free will. Then, number two, a hard pill to swallow. Falling for potential for what somebody can possibly be compared to who they actually are. Nine times out of 10, people show you their true colors ahead of time. And if you want to save a lot of headache, take it for what it is at face value and let that sucker go because when somebody shows you who they are believe them they really never really suppress that person if you want to live a lot of years without any heartache so don't fall for potential accept it for who they actually are that's them that is so them the sooner you let that person go the faster you will heal this goes for family friend foe ex-boyfriend current girlfriend whoever anybody anybody if you have a friend and every time you're there for their event and they're not there for your event don't fall for the potential of what they may be that in the future they say oh i'm gonna be their girl i'm gonna be their girl i'm gonna be their girl pay attention to what they're actually showing you not what their words are saying but what they're showing you that person is unreliable she's pretty much not really a good friend that is what she actually is the potential she's saying she's gonna be there you're gonna keep wind up being disappointed so that was number two and another hard pill to swallow the truth hurts but sometimes we gotta hear it number three i can't tell i don't know which one is my favorite i don't but number three on another hard pill to swallow it is no one's job to make you happy no one no one can make you happy you have to make yourself happy happiness comes from within you cannot sit around and say, hey, you need to make me laugh. If you don't make me laugh, da, 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 da. Or I'm bored. I'm bored. Let's go do something. The, hey, calm that down. Calm it down. There's no one else's responsibility to make you happy. If you want to go do something so you can be happy, go do something so you can be happy. Stop putting all that on somebody else. That's toxic behavior. 
toxic behavior to constantly expect somebody else to make you happy as if they're your freaking clown or jackal or something. Get it together. <sighs> Number four, another hard pill to swallow. Two gulps on this one. Love does not hurt. If somebody loves you the right way, it's not supposed to hurt. Love is, there's two different types of love. There's unconditional love and there's conditional love. <laughs> you cheat on me, you gonna see how thin this love turns into hate. But then on the other side, <laughs> so that's conditional love. But on the other side, there's unconditional love. You know, like for your babies and all that other stuff or depending on your relationship. No matter what your kid do to piss you off, you still gonna love that baby, yeah. Pop, 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 I told you not to do that and run in that street. But afterwards, hey, give me a hug and kiss. I still love you, you wanna eat something? Look, conditional love and unconditional love, but either way, love is not supposed to hurt. It's not, it's, stop convincing yourself that love is supposed to be painful when it comes to voluntarily falling in love with this person. You don't have to deal with nobody, nobody, nobody. It does not matter if they're family, friend, or foe, whoever. It don't matter, it's your freaking mama. If the love is painful, cut that person out your life and I get it, it's your mom. But if the pain is there and it's causing pain, love is not supposed to hurt. There is plenty of other people, people adopt children, there's foster parents that other people, a bonus, a bonus mom, a mentor that will love you the way you supposed to, the way it's supposed to be. Just because you came through that person don't mean you have to keep talking to that person for the rest of your life if they're continually, constantly hurting you and then turn around and say, hey, I love you. You're not going to smack a person. Hey, I love you. Hit them again. Hey, I love you. Black the eye. Hey, I love you. That's not love. It's not supposed to hurt. It's not. You are the orchestrator of your life. So if somebody keeps constantly hurting you, cut them out. Cut them out. We talking about self-love. You're going to love yourself. Let that person go if they keep constantly hurting you. Because love is not supposed to hurt. It don't matter if they were supposed to be your family. Sometimes friends are closer than what family is. It just is. And then sometimes family is closer to what friends is. It just is. See which one you have and adjust the court. And last but not least on hard pills to swallow, number five. No one thinks like you. No one thinks like you. If you understand that, this is a hard pill to swallow, but it's the truth. If you understand that, you would be more understanding on why somebody didn't comprehend what you said. People are not a mind reader. No one thinks like you. Out of billions of people in the world, you cannot always be right on every single thing you think. Everything you think. Hell, somebody might come underneath this damn video like, I don't like nothing you said. Okay, you're entitled to your opinion. This is mine, that's yours. We could still live happily married together and everybody can just get, get along. Agree to disagree. Have a healthy debate. I think number five was bull crap and this is why. Okay, you entitled to your opinion. Cause guess what? No one thinks the way that you think. Not all the time. That's why we have so many different divides of different segments of things. Midnight. You have Christian, you have Buddhist, you have Muslim, you have different categories of people, because guess what? That group of people think alike, the groups think alike, but everybody does not think alike, and that's what makes us unique and great. You can embrace everybody's difference. You don't have to keep convincing. That's how people get into all these different arguments and want to fight and fight and fight and fight and fight. You don't think like me, and this is why, da, da, da. Just accept it for what it is. Either you agree, disagree, life goes on, move on. Let it go. Everybody does not think alike, that's that. I don't try to convince nobody in my opinion. If you think what you think, okay, all right. Okay, you said the sky's purple, I said it's blue. Who knows, sometimes it is purple. I can see your point of view. Okay, you may be right, I may be wrong, okay. That's that. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to thumbs up if you like this content and subscribe for more. We just gonna be talking about it. Talking, 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 talking. So yeah, until next time, bye. Y'all, why is she so clingy? Midnight. How you jump up on my shoulder like? Hi. <laughs> you just be doing the most. Okay, I'll see you later. You come back. So that was the serenity prayer. 
we're gonna have to blur that out if we're gonna ever finish this video. Midnight. No, ma'am. <laughs>